All right, here, finishing up turn five. Um, two plays left. Uh, it's Soviet's turn. To recap, Asia is pretty red. Middle East is down the middle. Europe, very red. Africa, got that capitalist line right there moving in. But the uh, Soviets, you know, working on something nasty. South America, domination, dominated by the Russians. And Central America, questionable. Um, Soviets are in a very good place, especially with Europe. And, you know, we're going to hold off on uh, any more... Well, not not just to toy with them, but we gotta we gotta worry about um, you know scoring. We can look at the discard pile. We know Europe scoring is coming out, and you know I don't think the because remember we can see the U.S. hand. They don't have anything to because because of uh, lone gunman earlier. So we can see what they've got. They don't have the points to break anything in Europe from me. Um, and so. What we need to focus on as the Russians is maintaining what we already have. We have the China card. We don't want to give the Americans the China card. So we don't want to play it. And that's okay. We got ops. Um, uh, you know, I, I was going to try to hold on to this, but I'm not really interested in that anymore. Three points. Let's maintain our hold on South America firstly. Uh, we've got three points. There's one there. And the other two there. Uh, that way, we know that the Americans have Latin American death squads on the on the field <laughs> um, in play, and so they're going to probably coup one of these things because they still need their ops. We know that, and uh, I don't want to just put it all in one because if they coup that and take it, then I've lost all of my all of my gain. So putting it there, they have to pick one target only. That's a better idea. We still didn't play this for the effect, so that's going to get in the temporary discard pile. The American turn. We do need to do what the Russians thought. We need to get some ops. Um, but, you know, losing two points isn't the worst thing that ever happened, especially when Panama's at stake right there. Uh, yeah, everything's looking not, not great. We know Central America scoring is in the deck. Let's do... Let's just do this. Let's just do one point. We, I'm not going to worry about the ops. One point into Panama. Just takes it. Four to two. That's two. Just takes it. Asterisk, but that's an American. Didn't, in fact, didn't happen. All right. Let's see. Russian turn. Right, let's just do one point. I want to hold on to puppet governments. I'm not ready to play that yet. Um, puppet governments. Let's go with... Um, in an effort to equal the Central American position, I will take one point in Haiti. Firstly, equal number of countries. Oh, never mind, not equal number of countries. Oh, well, getting towards uh, equal number of countries. Um, but that will protect um, enough. It'll be even if the Americans try to realign Cuba. So that's uh, that's one point. Over here... Americans last turn. I don't really want to play either of these. But I do see what the uh, the Russians are doing. Playing this just makes it worse. We'll get this out of the way, I think. Uh, Willie Brandt is going to be two points. I'm going to put it all into west germany giving me it giving me 10 um soviet based on the the effect happens soviets gain one point and one influence in west germany making it 10 to 2 a great advantage um indeed no let's not put the two in uh, west germany we have we have a big enough advantage right now you know, it could go bad for us, but let's do this instead. Let's use those two points to put one in East Germany. That's what I normally like to do. I want that access to Poland for later on. Effect happened. That's asterisk. That's face down. Okay. Um, that's the end of the turn. At the turn, we would flip the China card, but the China card wasn't played. That's fine. We check the ops. 
number of military ops is two required. Americans did not get there. Americans lose two points, down to one. This gets reset for the next turn. DEFCON goes up. Turn six. And we deal the cards. No, Latin American Death Squads goes away. That's fine. Nine, uh, nine card hand. Let's check the Russian hand first. Ask not what your country can do for you. A U.S. player may discard up to entire hand, including score card, and draw replacements from the deck. The number of cards discarded must be decided prior to drawing any replacements. Socialist governments. Remove U.S. influence in Western Europe by a total of three influence points, no more than two per country. Oh man, that's going to be rough for the Americans. We may win by Europe, by Europe control with this card. Bear Trap. On next action round, Soviets must discard an ops card worth two or more and roll one to four to cancel this event. Repeat until successful or no appropriate cards remain. Um, ops on the last turn, it's not going to hurt us that much. Camp David Accords, U.S. gains one VP, U.S. receives one influence in Israel, Jordan, and Egypt. Uh, not too bad. Arab-Israeli war no longer playable. Eh, we haven't really benefited from Arab-Israeli war yet, and probably won't later anyway. Olympic Games. Player sponsors the Olympics. Opponent may participate or boycott. If opponent participates, each player rolls one die, with the sponsor adding two. If the opponent boycotts, degrade DEFCON one level, and the sponsor may conduct ops if they played a four ops card. Um, questionable. We'll see. Not really worth much. How I learned to stop worrying. Set the DEFCON at any level you want. This event counts as five military ops for the purpose of required military operations. Interesting. Let's see. Where would we put it? We could put it at two, but then that denies us the coup. We don't want that. We could put it at four. That way we could poo, uh, coup Panama or something. We could put it at four. We could coup... Uh, yeah, we coup Panama or something like that, and then put it down. That just gives them the free coup anyway. We're, we can coup Panama regardless. Um, we could coup one of our African countries. If we put it at five... Um, we could realign West Germany, which is probably the nastiest thing we can do. That's probably what we're going to do. Oh, yeah, that's that's rough. And then anything else doesn't really matter. Uh, that's going to be rough. Uh, yeah, NATO's not in effect. Oh, man, look, look, look there. Europe scoring. Cultural revolution. If the U.S. has the China card, claim it face up and available for play. Soviets already have it. USSR gains one VP. Ops. And then Europe scoring. Just an icing on the cake. It's gonna be a rough turn for the Americans unless we unless they got something good. OAS founded, add two US influence in Central and or South America, that's good. Hmm, Asia scoring, interesting. Not good right now, not great right now, we can see over here, but maybe we can uh, we can see what else we got. Maybe we can change that. That won't be too bad. Alliance for progress, US gains one VP for each US controlled battleground in Central. And South America, um, three ops is worth more than that. Colonial rear guards add one U.S. influence in each of four different African and or Southeast Asian countries. That's not bad at all. We might be able to get a number of uh, additional countries in Asia to equal. Yep, interesting. Allende, Soviets received two influence in Chile. Southeast Asia scoring. Uh, one VP each for Burma, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam... Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, 2 VP for Thailand. Yeah, we're going to use that Colonial Rear Guards to, to make this and Asia scoring much better for us. Hmm, Salt Negotiations, interesting. Improve DEFCON 2 levels. Further coup attempts incur minus 1 for both players. Player may sort through the discard pile and reclaim one non-scoring card after revealing it to the opponent. Let's see what we got in this discard pile because we may need it for Asia scoring. You know, I'd love to have China card right now, but, you know, we, we can't really control that. Mm, let's see what we got. What can we use to make our position in Asia better? Um, brush War, interesting. 
Eh, maybe brush war. We'll set that aside. No, non scoring, non scoring. Miss it now. None of these are good. Yeah. You know, Pakistani war, not bad, not bad at all. Maybe that one too. Red Scare Purge, maybe. No, I'm not seeing none of these. You know, it's almost it's almost not even worth playing it for the effect. Improved DEFCON 2 levels, that would put it at 5. And then, you know, we don't know the, the Russians are planning to realign West Germany, but we, we know they could if, if we improve the DEFCON 2 levels. It's not worth it. There's nothing good in that anyway. And then Korean War. North Korea invades South Korea. We don't want to play that either. Man, just cannot catch a break as the Americans. All right, anyway. Um, yep, let's go to the headline phase. The Russians are going to headline with How I Learned to Stop Worrying. The Americans, I think, colonial rear guards. It makes the most sense. Flip over at the same time. Americans break ties on the headline card. They both have two. Colonial rear guards. Add one U.S. influence in each of four. I think we're going to all do Southeast Asia. So let's look over here. We've got one in Laos, Cambodia. One in Burma. One in the Philippines. That's three. One more. I think one into Thailand. Yes. Very good. Okay, Colonial Rear Guard. Oh, I forgot about Shuttle Diplomacy. That's going to make it even better for Asia scoring. I'm going to subtract one battleground for the from the Soviets. It's four to two on the battlegrounds. It's not going to help us, but, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. This happens how I learned to stop worrying for the Russians, DEFCON, at any level you wish. Five. This counts as five military operations. Yeah, it's it's worth it. Even though even though once we realign, it's still going to be at peace. The Americans can't do anything about it. Secondly, it's going to give the Americans, if they want, a chance to coup Thailand. But you know, we're we're still so far ahead that it won't make a difference. I I think this is the best move for the Russians. It's kind of uh, kind of ballsy. All right, counts as five military ops, that's right. And the Russians are going to go first. Let's see, we want the highest ops card we can get. Yep, cultural revolution for ops. Three, three chances to realign West Germany. Uh, West Germ the Americans are getting plus one. The Russians are getting plus two. East Germany and France are adjacent. So it's going to be plus one for the Russians. Three chances. All right, plus one for the Russians. Americans lose one up, lose uh, one uh, one influence there. You know, I'm not sure where my seven tile is. I think it's somewhere else actually. No, nope, right there. All right, second attempt. <laughs> Another one from the because the Russians are at plus one. One more chance. Three ops, three rolls. Alright. Um, so actually the Americans won that one by two, and so the Russians actually lose both of theirs in there. But that's not so bad. You know, not not exactly what we wanted, but we're not uh, you know, we're not uh, we're not We still got plenty of thing up our sleeves as the Russians didn't uh, you know, yeah, that was questionable now that I think about it. Oh well, oh well, oh well. We got to keep moving. Uh, Americans' turn. We got these to contend with. Um, if we play Southeast Asia scoring now, the Americans will get uh, one, two, three points. The Russians will get one, two, three, four points. So we need to make that a little bit better. I think we're going to coup Thailand. That's probably the best choice. Three ops to coup Thailand because we can now because that's where the we have plenty of chances for the ops. Plus three to the roll. The stability is two. We need four at least. That's four, plus three is seven. We needed four. Soviets lose three. All right, not bad. Americans get three ops from three ops. Defcon goes down to four. Hmm. The Russians see this. The Russians see this. Let's see. I think we're still going to keep working over there, though. 
Socialist governments is next. You know, I'm not worried about Asia. If we can control Europe, you know, that's going to be that's going to be it for them. Remove three influence in Western Europe. Two from West Germany. We can only do two per country. Oh yes, and uh, two from uh, one from Canada to break control. That way, NORAD won't activate until the U.S. puts one more point there. That's fine. That's good. All right, Americans. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? I think three points with salt negotiations um, into Thailand. Or let's do it like this, because they have the China card. They can put points in Thailand if they want to. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All into Thailand. There we go. That's good. Okay, there's a lightning round. Russian turn. What are the Russians going to do? Not too keen on playing. That's not what your country can do for you. I'm, I am keen on playing the China card to break control of West Germany. Yeah, man, it's gonna be rough. Let's do it. We got to do it. China card played four points. Two to put one into the UK. Oops. Two to put one into West Germany, and that that means the Americans don't even have presence in Europe. All right, we as the Americans see this. This is going to be rough. They probably have Europe scoring. We're going to uh, to make a guess. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We need to get those points back. We're not even really worried about. You know, Central America at this point. We need to get those points back. Liberation Theology, two points. One into the UK. One into West Germany. Take that back, that's fine. Effect happens. Soviets had three in uh, Central America, no more than two per country. I'm thinking two into Mexico. One into Panama. breaking both of those controls. The Soviet turn. All right, looking uh, looking not great, but uh, let's see what we got here. We want to keep messing with them. We want to keep messing with them. Three points. Three points for the Russians. We're going to put two into West Germany now. Keep them on their toes. The effect happens. The U.S. may discard up to entire hand. Korean War and Allende. Uh, should I keep those? Should I keep those? Uh, definitely going to keep those other two. It's going to be two discarded and draw two replacement from the deck. Oops, that's not the deck. UN Intervention and Five-Year Plan. Not bad. UN Intervention cancels one card uh, containing your opponent's associated event. Five-Year Plan, Soviets discard a card. And if it's a U.S. event, it occurs immediately. We obviously don't know what the Russians have in their hand, but that's uh, beside the point. All right, that's, uh, that's gone. U.S. turn. Let's see. Let's start with Southeast Asia scoring. We have to play these cards. we got to get rid of these cards. Southeast Asia scoring. Um, the Soviets get one point for Vietnam and one point for Indonesia. That's two points. The Americans get one, two, three, four, five, two for Thailand. One, two, three, four, five, five to two. Three points for the Americans. One, two, three. No problem. That's good. Southeast Asia scoring is special in that it, get removed, it gets removed from play after being played once. The only scoring card that does so. Soviets. Soviets. What are they going to do? we got to play this Europe scoring. Let's do, let's do Bear Trap. You know, I'm not worried about the effect. We're going to discard these anyway. Screw that. Uh, they didn't even take back West Germany. Three points in West Germany altogether. This time for real. There we go. That looks good. Bear Trap stays in effect for the time being. Yes, three points. The Americans have to retaliate. Three points in West Germany. This is rough. This is rough. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Yep. 
eight to six there in West Germany. Okay, that's going to be discarded. Yeah, that's going to be that's as good as it can get possibly for the. Uh, oh, actually, the first thing that happens, Bear Trap activates. Soviets must discard an ops card worth two or more. Fine, camp uh, puppet governments. Actually, we, we want to discard first, and then uh, we have to roll to cancel. One to four to cancel, I believe. Yeah. There's one that cancels. Good enough. Uh, yes, for our, for our turn, Europe scoring, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we've got it, yep. Europe scoring, Soviets have domination, clearly. Uh, that's four points, five, six, seven points for more battlegrounds. Yeah. Um, looks like, looks like, yep, seven point uh, difference for the Soviets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, there we go. You know, I would have liked to win there as the Soviets, but it didn't happen. It usually doesn't happen that way. Um, as the Americans, I've got another play, got another play. What are we going to do? Let's keep. We don't have any. Uh, we don't have enough ops to. we got to play Asia scoring. Let's do this. OAS founded one point. Let's take Burma. I would have liked to have done it last round, but we need it for Asia scoring more than anything. Soviets, two points. I'm thinking two into West Germany. What are you guys thinking? I don't know where my Asian or my Russian eight tile is, but that's okay. Uh, we've got a we've got a two here. Eight to eight. Americans have to play Asia scoring. Asia scoring, there it is. Um, this is the very last round. Asia scoring, let's see. Difference, um, we discard, we subtract one battleground from the Russians. So that means that actually America has domination of uh, Asia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight countries to uh, six. Yep, eight to six countries, more battlegrounds now. Three to three, but subtract one. Three to two, more battlegrounds, that's good. Four points for the Americans. Five for an additional battleground, five points for the Americans. Over here, man, close game now. Have a Royal Barn Burner on our hands. Let's see what happens next. 